Hey everybody, Natalie here from totallydazzled.com. Today I am super excited to be bringing you a DIY tutorial on making these absolutely gorgeous brooch band vases. This project is a twist on our brooch vase centerpiece video, which is our most popular YouTube video by far. But I heard a lot of comments from you guys saying, you know what, you wish we could make it a little bit more of a, an affordable project. So I came up with this um, as a way to still incorporate a whole lot of bling and a whole lot of sparkle into your centerpiece, but use fewer brooches so that we can keep the cost a little bit lower. So let's get into the tutorial. Uh, the pieces that you're going to need are a cylinder vase. This one is just your, from um, the Dollar Tree, so super affordable. You'll need some floating candles, um, or you could use flowers, but for this project, we're gonna go with the candles. You'll need your wire cutters, and you will need your glue gun. And just like I mentioned in the, in the brooch vase video, you need a really good quality, high strength glue for this project. The brooches are a nice quality, a heavy metal, and they really need a really super duper strong hold. Otherwise, they could fall off, and that's the last thing I want to have happen to you at your wedding or event. So be sure to get yourself the, one of these high-low temp glue guns. I got this one from Home Depot. It was super affordable, and I always use the dual melt glue sticks that go with it. And that gives me just an awesome hold. And then last but certainly not least, you're going to need an assortment of brooches. All of these brooches are from our site, totallydazzled.com. And um, they're in a really great price. You can get a package of 10 assorted pieces for only $15. It's really affordable um, for making, you know, center pieces like this or brooch bouquets or whatever you need. So that's it. That's all you need for supplies. Um, and we can get started into the tutorial. So I'm just going to move this aside so you can see what I'm working on here. So the first thing we're going to do um, before we actually get started is to just clip off any backings that might be on your pieces. I've already pre-clipped all of these, but some of them have brooch pins on the back or slider bar buckles or whatever. So just get those all clipped off with your wire cutters. And then guys, it's really as simple as gluing and sticking it on. So you just want to apply a good generous amount of glue to your embellishment and then decide what height you want to have your brooch band at and place your first piece. And then all you're going to do is keep gluing around and around and around. Now, because the pieces, I'm doing like a sort of a variety of styles on each vase, they're, um, it gives kind of a more vintage look when you mix and match the styles, I think. So you can't get them in a perfectly straight row. So I think just doing like a slight weave makes it look really pretty and really visually interesting. If you want to use the same brooch all the way around, then you could probably get it in a perfectly um, straight line if you're careful. So, but I'm going to kind of just do a loose line, I guess you could call it. So off I go, I'm going to start gluing. All right, guys, we are all done. Such a quick and easy project, and really, you get a huge glamorous effect. Just a really simple process of gluing some brooches onto your cylinder vases. I think this project turned out absolutely beautiful. I hope you like it as much as I do, and I hope that it solves the concern of um, doing the twist on our brooch vases. I'll link that video down below because it's one of our most popular, so if you haven't seen that one, you'll definitely want to catch that. Um, and I just wanted to show, it looks beautiful, just these Dollar Tree vases with the water and the candles, just like this. But I also think if you have some candlesticks that you want to incorporate, you can really take the whole centerpiece up a notch by just elevating these on some beautiful candle holders. It's really up to you. It looks great either way. Um, and you can use clear glass candle holders, gold candle holders, silver, black, white, whatever suits your style or theme of your event. Make it your own, customize it, um, and I think this would be just beautiful for your wedding tables. I hope you like this project as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button. We're coming back to you every single week with brand new DIYs, tips, tutorials for your weddings and events. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, thank you for shopping at totallydazzled.com.